Hey guys, um, I guess I should welcome you back to this uh, ancient place that uh, I'm not really using much anymore, but uh, I guess it's kind of going to collapse one day, but for the moment it's still kind of alive, and the toilet's kind of leaking, and uh, well, there isn't much uh, that's working here. Uh, all pretty much destroyed and there's this guy and it's the same bottle I had like in a video I made two years ago and it's so kind of there so yeah that probably says a lot but yeah I found a new addiction uh, that I can't get rid of and um, I guess it's probably not common but here it is my addiction is playing with liquid paper like this or this or, or, whoops, ah, or these thingies I really like this stuff like you do something like this and and you have like something that dries right away so you can write on it and have some kind of secret message and then like put more stuff over uh, where is it oops I think it got dripped off a bit there yeah. can't stop doing that I mean I'm just kind of addicted ah. yeah. I suppose when you're going crazy you kind of do things like that wait a minute you know like I try different kind of combinations and I kind of let it dry this is like a mountain that I did there and I think there's a staple hidden underneath it and I would put some ink and uh, put liquid paper over it and have it mix with, uh, with, uh, how do you open that? Uh, there you go. And have it mixed with um, the liquid paper, and then like it would uh, become like uh, gray or whatever, like an international or interracial kind of liquid paper sort of thingy there. Then uh, I would. Ah, would fall. Do stuff like this and try to mix it up a bit. Now what I like to do, you know, is like make these kind of weird combinations where one side's gonna dry up at a different speed than the other, and maybe put a little fortifications around it or something. Oops, this thing isn't all that good. It's a cheap brand from like Dollarama or whatever. Uh, how does this work? And then what I do is like, uh, I imagine there's like some kind of a bunch of people kind of stuck underneath there. Like people so small that for them, like one millimeter is the same as maybe a billion light years for us so they can fit like in the little gaps there and then I kind of like I don't want it to dry normally so I put it in the microwave or in the freezer and I leave it there like overnight or something and see like how it dried up it's like to observe you know like the transformation or something so I guess I'll check this again tomorrow uh, morning. Well, it's been a day, so I guess we can check out what's happened. Uh, let's see. Mm, it's a funny thing. Here... The liquid paper seems to have dried, but the ink 
has apparently partially dried underneath, but not completely. Hmm. I see. It's funny. Hmm. What could have happened? I wonder because I, I I think here I left a whole bunch of ink like this from the bottle for about a week then I came back and the, the ink there was a huge blob of ink it was all dry and then you could touch it and it was like hard as rock so I mean you know like you could put liquid paper on it or something and uh yeah, so, I guess, uh, I should, uh, try to cover these things up there. Uh, let's see. Mm. I wonder what happens if it's, uh, frozen. I don't think that would be good for our kitchen recipe, but maybe the bleach would take out the water or something, or the ink. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's going to be like a whole frozen little bulb here as well. Okay. We can see it starts to mix and it's getting kind of gray. Here, this is kind of like white or jizz color or whatever, and here it's more like gray because it's mixing it with better. Anyway, so I won't be back in this place for about a week, so or maybe two weeks, I don't know. So I'm gonna put this stuff in the freezer and see uh, what it looks like when I come back, but it's gonna be difficult to. Wait a minute. Mm, how long am I gonna transport this all the way to the freezer without changing the composition of of the, the little bulbs there? Because I want it to freeze as is. And I kinda like have a detachable frozen bleach crystal or something. Okay, let's here this part's okay, but it's like when we're gonna try to uh, bringing it up, that's going to be when it will be difficult. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try. This is going to be... Okay. Oof. Okay, this is the moment of... Uh, of... Okay, it's not leaking yet. Oh, oh shit, it's starting to leak a little bit. Not much, not much, okay. And it's fine, it's fine, fine. Okay. Oh shit, it's fucking it. I almost went out of the paper there. But, oh, fuck, it's starting. Ah, ah. Okay. I guess it could have been worse, and I don't know why this is here. I don't remember what kind of experiment. But anyway, I could probably add something. Much well. So, some baby oil. And, uh, I don't know about adding Mr. Clean, but I'll put this old uh, nail polish back. For some reason, it just doesn't freeze. Okay, so I guess I'll check back on this in a week.